As he starts to punch, everything works together all at once. Everything happens together. And like I said, basically, this is a follow-up. If Rick tries to re-grab or come in with a punch, then we have the follow-up at this point. Thank you, Rick. I want you to think of this kind of like a, a gunslinger, a fast draw, in that when he pushes, bam, I move from down from where my, my hand is, just like if I was drawing a pistol. And as I move in, whack, bang, kidney, okay? That's gonna be icing on the cake. If you can do it, fine. All right, now watch again. He pushes up, down, back, okay? The elbow hits, the back knuckle, and then we drive him back up. All right, now the important thing on this technique is we're gonna block it, chop to the groin. Nothing really changes except we don't have the knee buckle now. So we're gonna step straight through, drive him and push him over. Okay, come on up, Rick. Now with the help of Crystal, thank you, Crystal. Now she's gonna do the same technique, but as she takes Rick down, as she takes Rick down, she's gonna pull up sharply on his right leg. Okay, let's go ahead. Now, boy, right there, very nice. Now you notice that when she pulled up, the width of his body. Now as that happens, it exposes the elbow, okay? Now, as he punches, boom, I knee to the groin, I break the elbow, I check the arm, I come down on the inside of his right knee, which begins to do what? It begins to turn his head into my elbow. And that's the last shot of it. Now watch it over here at this angle. His left arm starts to come. I knee to the groin, I control his width, I check that arm, and here's where I come down on that knee. Watch his head start to turn into the elbow. Keep that arm checked. And as you come down, hit to the hinge of the jaw of the elbow, and you're out. That's how it's done. It's simple, but you put some pressure. Whack, I hit, grab, rip. Make sure that this hand hits, come across with the elbow. OK, let's move Clyde over. We're going to change the angle. That way you can see what we're doing over here. That arm, boom. They both work together. In my defense, stepping back is also my offense. Now, if you look at it from this angle, it's not that we're trying to overkill as much as we're trying to teach you to be overskilled in case something else happens. One, two, and three, right in the throat. Keep the left hand up as a check. Sometimes I put it down when I'm talking. Put the elbow in, and that's no more than a right inward elbow, the left hand checking. Okay, watch me again. <laughs> the guy moves, break, heel pump, bam, and knee, and elbow, all in one. Okay, thank you much check that as he swings, boom, I hit one, up, then I go to the heel palm, up, bend him over now, then I go to a, a right forward bow, and this is a short chop, and you notice I'm tracking down my arm here. As I hit the left side of his neck, I start to bring him around into position. As this right arm circles, it drops in and makes the final chop at this point. From here, bam, down the side of the back of the neck. Okay, watch from this angle. Punch comes, heel pump, up, uppercut, down. Then I drop in for the last shot. And you'll notice here, the bottom hand checks. Now what I'm doing so I don't hurt Clyde is I'm hitting my own arm. It's called, I do the same thing on the other side and I'm out. All right, so when the attack is made, boom, all at once. Good, and that's the way it should be. Jerks me into it, you're gonna, you're gonna feel the pull and I want you to step, remember that's 12? You st I want you to step to 10, and that's approximately where you are. As he starts to go, that's what does it. Up and down. Thank you, Clyde. Good. So I pull and counter grab and make my break. Elbow, rip. Set to set him up for the last move here. Boom, hit, and knee. And that's how it should be done. Thank you, Brian. Good. Hit it. That's why when you've dummy up for these techniques, you have to dummy up properly. Let's take the punch again. So we have one, two, three. Okay, now, I broke it up into steps. Now what's really happening is that as soon as this hits, you collapse a, the eye hook can be just before the kick, and then plant. It's there. You get a little more adapt, you can do it. Now let me show you from this angle. Come on over here, Brian. We'll take that as 12 o'clock, because it would be a good angle for you to see what's going on. Go ahead. I get over to 4 o'clock, line him up, blam, and hit. 
I want the bottom hand as you plant the check. That's what I'm doing. Okay, let's watch this again. All right, he grabs. I drop back. Bam! Boom! These two hit together. This grabs forward bow. This anchors and this anchors. And then half this to the throat. Bam! And then I'm out. Okay? Thank you, Clyde. Let's do it from this side. So they Now look at it from this angle over here. That's 12, I go to five, as, I, as he starts to move, I elbow, rip, bust it, and step back. I continue to trap that arm, keep it locked in, this hand pins and strikes as I need. Okay, now it's important, again, pressure. What you're stopping is this thing riding into your face. All right, now, he could put a little tug on it as he pulls. He only increases the power of this, and then back up. You can let go of that point. Now, if his weight is coming forward, which it should be, if he's really punching at me, go ahead, try it again. If his momentum's coming through, then I'm gonna buckle the leg behind his knee. I'm gonna take advantage of his weight coming through, and I'm gonna do this slow, go to four. Bam! I spin him, make my kick, and buckle that leg. Keep your eye on him. And that's where we'll take it. Thank you, Kevin. Good. Because it's a little circle, and you might as well use it because it's not really what? Doing anything at that point. Watch again. Grab. We go one. All right? Two. Three. And four. Everything's there all at once. Grabbing me. I check the hands so that as I do hit him with the knee and the elbow, the hands don't go flying into my face. Okay, grab me again. So we've got three things, solar plexus, knee, as he starts to push, it all hits at once. Then keep it going, hit the jaw, come back in from a neutral stance to a right side horse stance, keep this hand checking, go to a right reverse bow and hammer to the groin. That'll be your last shot from there. Now it's no more than working on a circle. One. Push. At that point, I want you to pivot and chop him with a right outward hand sword to the throat. Now, you notice it knocked Kevin back. As I'm pivoting, I'm pivoting into a right forward bow. It gives this reach and it gives it strength. At that point, I want a left snap kick to the groin or the inside of the knee, whatever's available. You're going to make your kick and then back to your neutral stance. But you're borrowing force. You're not trying to fight when he's pushing to do obscure wings. You just to work for you. All right, you don't have time to use major blocks. You gotta borrow that as quickly as you can, set him up, down, and kick all at once. If we do this a little slower, watch again. Perry, his body weight's coming. I unwind with the strike. I settle with the back knuckle. Keep the arm check, adjust my step if I need to, loop this overhead, and back down on the knee, and then out. Okay, thank you. And it controlled that side of his body. Now, no sooner than the block hits, this hand comes up, breaks the bridge of the nose, wham, this way, and then right behind it, I want you to circle in and do an inverted fist, or what we call a vertical back knuckle. Out of your forward, you're gonna go into a neutral stance, and I want you to go to the chin or the nose, but you're gonna use a vertical back knuckle. Watch it from this angle. Okay, we do the first one to be there because of this hit before. All right, let's grab again. He comes in, we drop our weight, break the grab, gather that arm, pull a little bit, shoot that elbow, and as he starts to fall, boom, hit the groin. 